Why are so many people moving to Frisco, Texas? I bet you 10 years ago, most of the rest of the country didn't even know where Frisco, Texas was. For a lot of people, Frisco, Texas showed up on your metaphorical map when the Dallas Cowboys moved their headquarters there. But if you were living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you were well aware of the rapid growth of Frisco 15 plus years ago, 20 years ago. Now, it has grown truly rapidly. Some economic forecasters think that Frisco, which is used to be the far northern edge, will be the population center of Dallas-Fort Worth in the next 10 to 20 years. That's crazy if you're from the area. If you're from outside of the area, I'll answer the question more. Why would you move there? Well, you would move there for really cool things like the Dallas Cowboys headquarters. It happens to double as the high school football location for some of the Frisco high school teams. That's crazy. They get to play their Friday night and sometimes Saturday games, sometimes Thursday, where the Dallas Cowboys practice, which is a beautiful, gorgeous, multi-billion dollar facility. Uh, you've also got minor league baseball. You've got some hockey headquarters. You've got uh, major league soccer. You've got significant shopping, malls, Ikea, and lots of significant stuff. You've got Toyota's headquarters. Within a couple of miles, even if just outside of Frisco sometimes, you've got giant world-renowned shopping. Uh, you've got uh, Frito-Lay, Pepsi headquarters. You've got a block that was called uh, you got an area that was called the Billion Dollar Mile because there was so much development, which later became three or four billion dollars worth of development all at one time within a one mile area. So you've got this incredible combination uh, where if you're just talking about Frisco, you've got tremendous amount of shopping everywhere, but you bleed over into the nicer, uh, newer developed parts of Plano, Colleyville, Prosper, edging on McKinney. You've just got a lot of really amazing stuff happening. But in the heart of Frisco, you've got uh, really well thought of public education. You've got the PGA just moved there. You've got major corporate relocations, lots of shopping, uh, space to grow, but a rapid growth rate. And part of that means pretty much everything is newer, cleaner, nicer, spread out, well-maintained. Um, there are some older parts of Frisco with some slightly older homes, larger lot communities and things like that. Residential real estate in Frisco is really attractive, especially for our out-of-state buyers. Um, it's becoming um, an upper mid to upper, upper price point real estate market, but relative to the rest of the country, people are seeing new, nice, beautiful estate properties, new construction, recent construction. Again, relative to the prices they're used to in other parts of the country, they're seeing that as really, really affordable. Compared to folks that have been here a long time, Frisco is starting to feel a little bit expensive, but it's only relative to the way it used to be. The value is still very much there because it's a massive employment center, a massive entertainment center, great shopping, really a, a still a really, really good community to raise a family, to be single, to, to be recreational and all of those things. So we're seeing massive growth to the north side still, and that's where those projections that Frisco might be the middle are coming from because there's already significant development to the east, of course, to the south. The west is growing like crazy, but now the north is really, really growing as well. So in addition to shopping and education and restaurants and all those things, the location is becoming more and more and more attractive. People used to move to Frisco so they could commute down into Dallas. Now they're moving north of Frisco so they can commute down into Frisco. There's massive banking and finance campuses there as well. And so you're just seeing really development of almost every kind, residential, commercial, multifamily, corporate campuses, retail, parks and recreation, uh, concert venues, all of those things are expanding in Frisco. So if you're from out of the area and you're thinking about making a move, Frisco is really, really attractive. If you're from in the area and you have past, you know, preconceptions about Frisco, maybe visit again. Give it another look. It's got a different feel. If you used to think of Frisco as a little bitty town and you're not interested in big cities, then maybe you caution yourself a little bit about Frisco and look north to Prosper uh, or east to McKinney, which is growing, but not at the same rate. Uh, or maybe 
uh, you prefer a slightly older, more mature Plano or something like that to the south. But Frisco is super, super attractive, expanding like crazy, and for almost every perspective is doing a really, really good job of that. So check out Frisco, Texas. If you're not interested in Frisco, check out the rest of our channel here. And uh, we've got videos on other cities, other communities, all sorts of different aspects of living in, moving to, move, buying and selling in, and all sorts of different elements of the Dallas-Fort Worth area market. But check out Frisco. We'd love to talk to you more about that. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home soon, I'm a real estate broker. I've got a great team around me. We've got a local radio show here and we try to share great information. Reach out to us online at overunderagent.com. Just Google my name, Todd Tremani, or search below. But definitely reach out. We could help you buy, sell, or invest here in the market. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon.